Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Force here covering new PC releases for this week of August the 5th to August the 11th. This is quite an exciting week. We actually have uh, some great PC ports coming out that I'm stoked to tell you guys about. Let's go ahead and get things started though with Tuesday, August the 6th, which is today. We are seeing the release of Divinity Dragon Commander. This is the latest game in the Divinity universe and it's interesting in that it combines role playing with turn based and real time strategy elements elements. Uh, so I've taken a look at this game in the past. I looked at it when it was in the beta. I think it was just a few weeks ago, actually, maybe a month or so. But uh, yeah, you start off, you've got this whole sort of RPG thing where you're in the ship, you're, you're like the the son of uh, the king who has been slain by your siblings and you're trying to take back the uh you know take back the countryside and all that stuff and you have to do so by battling but th there's this turn-based strategy that sort of works like a board game and then you go into combat in a real-time strategy mode and not only is it rts with building troops and gathering resources but you also have dragon combat in which you can transform into your dragon self and then fight as the dragon while your troops are also fighting so it's pretty interesting there is a single player multiplayer and co-op within the game if you'd like to learn more about it uh, i'll give you guys a link to the video that i made uh, divinity dragon commander will be available for 39.99 also today we saw the release of Beat Buddy Tale of the Guardians. This is a 2D action adventure game that has a heavy emphasis on music and rhythm. It's actually won several awards for best music and art. And it was a fun little game. I took a look at it earlier today and I have done a checkout video for it. And it, it's nice. It's a small title. You know, it's just a 2D action adventure. You're moving throughout the environment, but it's got a really nice art style and aesthetic. The music is fantastic and the gameplay is pretty smooth and fun as well. Uh, Beat Buddy is available now now for $14.99. Now on to Thursday, August the 8th, I've got a really great PC port coming out, which is Guacamelee. This is a side-scrolling Metroidvania-style brawler that stars a Mexican farmer and his luchador mask. Uh, the game features a strong melee combat system, a dimension-switching mechanic, and then also cooperative gameplay. I'm super stoked about this game uh, coming to PC now because I've heard this is a very solid Metroidvania-style game and I've heard it's got fantastic combat and just overall uh, it, it's a quality title so I'm definitely looking forward to taking a look at that. Also out on Thursday we've got Spelunky. This is the upgraded version that first came to consoles. Uh, this will be coming to Steam. Uh, Spelunky is a 2D roguelike platformer with randomly generated caves in which you must try to collect treasure and get better equipment. Uh, the game is supposed to be gruelingly difficult presenting quite a challenge. Uh, basically you start off with very little health and if you do die you have to start over from the beginning. Now Spelunky originally came to the PC in 2009, then an updated version came to console in 2012, and that updated version is now coming to PC uh, this Thursday. And then finally on Thursday, Papers, Please, a graphic adventure game about immigration during the Cold War. Uh, this is set in a fictional Soviet nation where you play as a border agent who must decide the fate of people trying to enter the country. The gameplay itself boils down to literally you looking at immigration documents and trying to decide if they've got the necessary necessary paperwork to make it into the country, but it's supposed to be very difficult because you're constantly battling, you know, I need to take care of my children and pay my bills. And the way you do that is by letting as many people into the country as possible. But then you've also got these terrible people who, if you let in, you end up seeing that they have committed crimes in the country and all sorts of stuff. So it's supposed to be, a, a, you know, it's an adult themed game, but it's supposed to be very quality as well. And it, it has good themes and tells a good story. And by good, I mean sad and depressing. And then finally, for new releases this week, on Friday, August the 9th, we are going to be seeing Guncraft come to Steam. Guncraft is described as Minecraft with guns or Call of Duty with blocks. Uh, it combines the addictive nature of block-building sandbox games with the speed and competition of modern first-person shooters. So some of the FPS elements that it includes are going to be control, uh, player-controlled vehicles, perks, killstreaks, classes, and a ranking system. Uh, interesting looking title. It's been available in the past, but it's now just coming to Steam. I'm going to see if I can get my hands on a copy of this game to give it a look because it, if it really does have solid shooting elements, then this could be a, a pretty solid title. And that is going to do it for new PC releases for the week, so let's wrap up with my planned content. I've already done a video for Beat Buddy. I thought that was a really nice uh, little game. Uh, again, liked the art design behind it, liked the music, and the gameplay was very smooth and enjoyable. Uh, I plan to cover Guacamelee and Guncraft, and then I may potentially cover Spelunky. Now that's 
Spelunky seems like an amazing game. I've seen gameplays of it. I actually saw a Man vs. Game, who's a fairly well-known Twitch streamer. I saw him play just a few nights ago, and I said, this looks unbelievable. I'm not only maybe covering this because I don't think people will enjoy it, but just because this game... It's an original incarnation came out in 2009. It's been around for quite a while. So I feel like there's plenty of coverage about this game already that you can take a look at. But I definitely think I want to play it because it looks so good. So if I end up picking it up, um, then I'll, I'll do a video for it most likely. And then beyond that, just the regular content, Friday Night Magic, uh, the force plays that we're doing of Kingdom of Amalo Reckoning right now. And then of course the force feed Monday, Wednesday and Friday. And then also I've been trying to, on a regular basis, about once or twice a week, just do these discussion videos. I recently did one about MMOs. I'm going to keep doing that because not only do I enjoy doing it, they seem to get a great response. People, you know, the comments and likes are typically very high. So it tells me people enjoy that content and are liking the discussions. And yeah, it gets good views as well. So all those things combined logically would tell me I should continue to do this because people enjoy it and it does very well. So there you go. Uh, that is that. Thank you guys so much for joining me for this coverage of new PC releases for this week, as well as my planned content. If you like the content, please subscribe. And as always, keep watching and keep owning.